The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. It's not just a musical. I'm a child who won't get out so critical. I hate that whole thing. It's not just a musical. I'm a child who won't get out so critical. Welcome to our third episode of Date Night with Noelle and Miki. And uh, we're gonna have our legs crossed for this entire episode <laughs> to avoid some <laughs> damage. I, or I can strategically put this like right here. There's the iPad. The iPad? Yeah. Uh, Maybe later, it depends. <laughs> but, um, but anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I also want to let you know if you want to reach us. I don't know if you're stuck in traffic. Um, but if you happen to be home and tuned in, um, you can reach us anytime at 478-7954. Uh, yeah, we'd love to chat with you and, and get some interaction with our viewers, which I think would be fun. Um, we have a ton of Game of Truth questions, so if you guys have any more, feel free to give us a call or tweet us, because we'll be checking our, our phones regularly. So send those in, and um, we'll be answering those at the very end. You know it's professional to be on your phone when you're working, right? Yeah, but it's part of our work. Not really. Okay. Um, <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, uh, on to more important things, the cocktails. So uh, this week I decided to make kind of like a like a makeshift Long Island a iced tea. A simplified version of a Long Island iced tea. As you guys may or may not know, um, Noelle is a bartender. She bartended um, regularly in San Francisco and she at home makes some really awesome stuff. So this is kind of like a homemade version of a Long Island iced tea. Because what does it normally have? So a Long Island I asked you. A Long Island, Island asked tea, tea. Um, consists of vodka, <laughs> gin, rum, triple sec, uh, sweet and sour and coke. So instead, and I know that's a lot of things for for some for anybody to buy. Um, unless, unless you have like a full bar. Yeah, unless you have a full bar, you can make that. So that's um, that includes six kinds of, of liquors and and coke and stuff. But um, so I kind of wanted to simplify this version so you guys can just easily make it at home. So what I decided to do today was kind of put a twist to it. Um, so it's like a Long Island iced tea, but a peach flavored Long Island iced tea. And the simplified home version. Yes. So, um, again, all, you always need ice because you want it to be nice and cold. Unless you're dealing with what what kind of like liquors or alcohols would you not want ice with? Um, like, like brandies or? Usually the or sisters, yeah, the brandies. Um, sometimes they put like one ice cube. Or the, the on. stone that chills it or something. Yeah, you could do that too. So what we're going to do here is um, you get your, if you don't have a spout, it's fine. You could use shot glasses as measurements. But like I said last week, bartenders were just counting the whole time. So when you're pouring, um, you count to four and that equals one shot. Which is really good math, you guys. <laughs> yeah, count to four. <laughs> Got it. So um, for this glass, you could probably do like an ounce and a half. So that means counting to six. So one, two, three, four. Seven, eight, nine, six. So that's about an ounce. Um, yeah, you just kind of guess. About an ounce. Um, we and the, I have that one. one. No, it's okay. mine. And one of the reasons why I chose this drink um, was because from the peach schnapps that we made was that the first episode of Yes, it was. A Sex on the Beach that had some peach schnapps. So I had some leftover peach schnapps. So it'd be cool to use your leftover liquor. So um, for this, maybe like an uh, three quarters of an ounce. I'm just kind of guessing. Um, She's also a very good guesser. Yeah. And then so I just got some local iced tea, some C2 and you just kind of fill it with iced tea for the rest. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, that is a simple It's a peach homemade tea. Like peach a spiked tea. peach tea, and you just want to <laughs> add... Okay. That's a good one. <laughs> just want to add some ice, and um, cheers. Did you cheers. drink a little bit? No, I just drank a little bit. Yeah, so there you have it. Um, it's like a peach, peach tea Long Island <laughs> iced tea. Yes. So something easy to make. It only has three different ingredients, so you can easily get those at the store. So now that you know what the drink is that we have for today, um, I want to go ahead and mention kind of a, a new concept that we're bringing into date night. Um, we have this show here at the, the Beyond the Box studio with New Media Factory, and um, we're very grateful to have this spot that we can have you know, every Wednesday. 
But we're also thinking about doing something um, where we can like really, really engage with people. And yeah. so we're going to start a real date night. Uh, it won't be on Wednesday, it'll probably be on a Thursday. Maybe on a Thursday, the next day. Yeah. And um, so what we wanted to do was how we were gonna pick our our dates. Uh, it's gonna be, it's not gonna be like a personal one-on-one -on -one thing. Yeah, and nothing weird, I think you know, it'd be fun like... if there was a group of people, um, even like the, the people that we work with here can join. I think it'd be fun, like a group date. So how we're gonna pick is um, pretty much pick the most engaging customer, the ones that's been tweeting us the customer. most. I mean, did I just say customer? <laughs> you sound like Sorry, a bartender. I'm still in bartender <laughs> Sorry. I sound like a pimp. <laughs> so the most engaging viewer, uh, to kind of hang out with us, which I think is cool because they're the ones that's that's pretty much really the ones contributing to to the topics, to the questions. Um, and the most awesome, yeah, of the awesomest. So that's how you guys can get picked, and we're okay. gonna we're gonna have a really cool spot. It's gonna be on High Street, right? Yes, on High Street. Uh, there's a spot called Nasi. It just opened up recently. We'll give more details about that later, but we just want to mention that now. Later, we'll go into that a bit more. Yeah. So the more interactive <laughs> you are. The, the better your chances to kind of hang out with us because we think you'd be fun and cool. If you think we're even fun or cool, it's, <laughs> I, it's really up to you. But anyway, so we, you know, going into this, I feel like we kind of had uh, like a concept and like an idea uh -huh. where we wanted to stick with, with, and I feel like uh, a lot of times we kind of go off that, but I think it's actually a little more fun when we are slightly less prepared. Yeah, like, okay. <laughs> But anyway, um, we did kind of think of something, and it was the ideal people. That yeah, we so would like to. we figured, you know, everybody talks about their ideal man, um, what it's like to, or who their dream guy is, dream girl, whatever. So we thought we'd talk about our unideal dream. Both. Okay, people. so did you ever play, I don't know, did you ever play this game called MASH? No. You know, in grade school, the you have the piece of paper and you write down MASH oh, yes. and then you name like And you live in a mesh in apartment, shack, yeah. or house. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So it's, I guess our episode <laughs> can be considered like MASH because um, we're kind of talking about our ideal or unideal and then... But first of all, what's, our your, what's your ideal what? person? My ideal person? Guy. Guy? Oh. Yeah. Okay, to specify. Um, my ideal okay, person... Okay, appearance first. What's your ideal... Uh, like, what do I look like? What do I look for in appearance? What do you look like? What do you look for? Yeah. Uh, that's tough. I'm gonna let you answer it first. Okay, the first thing that catches my attention is uh, probably the hair. If they have good hair from the back, I'd be curious to see what they look like in the front. Really? I don't know why. Hair and the way they get up, the way they dress. If they can dress well, even though I haven't seen their face yet, that would that, that'd be enough to catch my attention. Fair enough, fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, I like when a guy knows how to dress, but I don't like when a guy knows how to dress better than me. And I don't Not even sure. dress that well, so... <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of <laughs> On that note, um, thankfully I have Miss Miss Casey that helps me out for this show. So grateful. Uh, that's Otherwise, the we'd be kind here. Of oh, decent here. Otherwise, she would have shown up in her suspenders. <laughs> <laughs> Which are those suspenders anyway? You don't want to know. I, you should have seen her, that last photo shoot she did. I don't know. Did you have a stylist then? No, I was exactly. my own style. That's Hence why the she wore a pair of suspenders as a shirt. I have them, by the way. But on another note, so okay, guys, I feel guys. No, I wait, think okay, you so should wear that. I will. Trust me, I will. If I could uncross my legs, I would get them right now. But, but <laughs> I know, me too. If I could, I get it for you. <laughs> So, okay, so you see the guy from the back, and uh -huh. you, you see like, okay, he has nice hair, he has so, like a nice getup. So if all that is good, then... When, when, he, when he turns around, like... When he turns around, if he has nice eyes and lips, then that's enough for What me about to when he like, smiles and he has like teeth that are like... Then no, it's... it's <laughs> I, don't, wrong? I don't think I can be with anybody that looks like there's World War Three going on in their mouth with their teeth. There are ways to solve that. I had braces for five years. Yeah, but... I don't know. With the retainer, no, no I was Steve Urkel, like, grow, like, growing up, I was that, like, Steve Urkel, I had the night brace with the blue thing that wrapped around my head, and I would wake up with my, like, pillow, just, like, a cesspool of droll. Mm. I'm not kidding. That's hot. Isn't it great? Mm -hmm. but yeah, he's so, great. Wait, so, I answered, what's your ideal guy? Oh, my idea. <laughs> Why my idea about the question? Honestly, like, uh... I really don't care about like a guy's style as much as like I, I would go 
I, I actually, I, I like like a muscular guy. I like a guy that is like kind of more manly. Like football player? Okay, football player body or basketball player body? Football. I would go for the football player over the basketball player. You? I'd go for the basketball player body. We'll, we'll never, never fight, fight over a guy. guy. Perfect. That's fantastic. Nice. Okay. okay. Great. So, okay. Okay. <laughs> Oh we would never share a guy either. No, because like for me, for example, during in high school, there was a guy that I dated that was not my ideal guy at all. Okay. Um, he got my atten my attention because he was just funny as hell. Like he made me laugh so hard. So he then, was a class clown. Okay. He wasn't my type physically or or anything. He wasn't my type at Aside all. Aside from personality. Personality, I hated him in the very beginning. Okay. Like, I thought he was annoying and obnoxious and just trying to show off, but then like it grew on me to the point where I was getting amused by that. Okay. And then we ended up being a couple like for a few, I think less than a year. Okay. But yeah, I gave him a chance. And yeah. He made me, he made, if somebody can make me laugh, that's enough to get my attention. Pretty Have much. you dated like athletes or what would it, like in terms of like your past relationships with me? athletes? Since you brought up football or bas basketball. Not official athletes. I I dated guys that like to play basketball, but they weren't like on a team or anything. Yeah. I went to prom with the quarterback and wow. he was a major douche. Oh, why? why but he was cute. Douche? He just, I don't want to go into the whole story. He kind of ripped me from the inside Is he out. the one that, that... Yeah, he was the one. He was the one. That... Okay, so Wait, he was the one that ripped... Asshole. He, he ripped what? Nothing like nothing perverted. He okay. he hurt me. I was, I was like he girl, ripped my yeah. and I really liked him. What? And it, okay, so this guy, you know, we were we were we were together. We were official, and I went. To, he took me to a senior prom. He was the quarterback of the football team, whatever. And his way of breaking up with me was to say he was on the way, and then I just never heard from him. So as far as I know, he actually fell off the face of the So until now, you haven't heard from him. No. So is he still alive? I don't care. <laughs> but what if you got into an accident, like you're mad and he didn't make it because he... he's alive. Okay. Yeah. That was a douchebag move then. That was a douchebag move. Yeah. No, one I'm time, gonna... I guess I've never really dated a douchebag while we were dating, but they became douchebags after we dated. How like, so? Like, like, like my ex, I was talking about this on, on Mo show, or on like a time show this morning actually. Um, when, we, when I was trying to break up with him, <laughs> when I was trying to break up with him, he was, <laughs> He asked me if we can still hook up from time to time. Oh, okay. And, I, and all the more, I was like, So the no. extra benefit factor. Yeah, and I'm not into that, so... Yeah, that turned me off even hmm. more. And I'm curious to know who would be into that. There, there are some people that are into that. No, but... And then one of my... The latest ex that I have, mm -hmm. he became a douchebag after I broke up with him and just started talking crap about me and my friends because he was bitter. Okay, typical. Yeah. Alright, so... Okay, <laughs> so the, you, have you, what's the most ideal guy you've dated? The most ideal guy I've dated? Yeah. I really like mixed races. I like, um, like mestizos, but like half Asian and half white or something. I think that's my ideal. Okay. Um, if, if I were to give an ideal person, you, sure. you want to know who? Yeah. I think you, you would already, I don't want to say the name. Why? Because it's weird. And so my, the, okay, fair enough. Yeah. Okay. So at my my ideal guy is somebody that's t taller than me, who knows how to dress. Um, preferably, like I've dated all Filipinos. All my boyfriends were Filipinos, so I'm trying to move on to half Filipinos. I've dated the planet. <laughs> so I don't know if that's like <laughs> so I don't know if that's like a step up or whatever. I just yeah. I don't know. But my type is like halves. I've always okay. been attracted to the half fees. I think I've dated almost every ethnicity aside from Native American. So you dated black? Yeah. How was that? <laughs> what do you mean, how was it? I've my, never my first serious My first I've serious boyfriend was black and wow. yeah, it was, I mean, wow. I don't know. I just, <laughs> I just heard things. <laughs> what have you heard? Nothing, they just had- That's my first boyfriend. Wow. Was, okay. That's it? You know, I'm not getting into that. Mm -hmm. Um, okay, so, unideal guy, so, okay, you did an unideal guy, how the hell did you, did, did you just realize, like, while you were in this relationship that you just weren't tired of him, like, his what humor you, wasn't enough for you? I am the type to get bored wow. really easily. What? Wow. What? Wow. No, I, I just, just feel like saying wow. wow. Okay. No, I just get bored really easily, so I think I just got bored. Okay, fair enough. 
And that's um, that's my last <laughs> the last line that I always say to my exes is it's not you, it's me. I have to find myself first. That's bullshit. <laughs> but it's true, it's not them, they're great. It's me, I'm retarded. Huh? What? <laughs> I'm ret I'm it's me. Z? It's not no, you. There's, there's, there's a young person in the studio and I feel bad because I said a bad word. I shouldn't have done that. That is not a good thing to say. It's really not a good thing to say and I'm very sorry. Um, I'm serious. Okay. Okay, that really is... Yeah, okay. No, no, but I've... I, have I heard that before? Would you rather be the breakupper or the breakup be? The breakupper. Really? Why would I want to be broken up with? Mm, when I, I know. still want it. What, you like to be broken up with? No, I don't like it. I don't like being broken up with. But have you ever been the breakup-er and it like sucks like so bad because you feel guilty for breaking up? Like you feel like you need to get back into the relationship because no, no, no. they're begging you and they love you and they still want to work things out and they can't? That's that's my thing. Once my mind's made up, What do you call it? Um, Koala? Koala. Koalasaurus yeah. Rex. <laughs> that's what I call that I don't know. No, what's for me, once my mind is made up though, it's game over. Okay. Like, I'm breaking up with you because I want to, it's for a reason. I feel bad. Breaking don't with me? Don't lie. I'm breaking up with you. <laughs> no, like when I, when I break up with somebody, it's because my mind is made up to break up with somebody. And yes, I do feel bad because I don't like to make people feel sad or bad. Yeah. But they'll get over it. I'll get over it. Okay, okay. Yeah, I mean, I think we both, no, maybe not you. I've been on both sides of the spectrum and yeah. I think it sucks either, equally either way. Yeah, it, it does. But but I, I have to say from my own experience with that particular part, it's harder to be the break upper. Because there's really? like my con yeah, because my conscience gets involved and then and I start to feel guilty or like you know what I mean? It's like it becomes like a mind game and you know, like to, to be the one to like have to let go of the relationship is really hard. Because you're the one that's that's like acknowledging that it's not working, whereas the other person isn't ready to acknowledge that, so it's even harder because they're holding on. Interesting. Oh, okay. Well, I'd rather break up with somebody. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but, no, but like, okay, so you dated, how old was that black guy that you dated? Well, or how old were you? I time? was 14, he was 16. What's the biggest age gap that you? Biggest age gap? I, at one point, was dating a guy, I was 20, he was 32. Oh, wow, 12 years. Yes, wow. 12 years, but he was in the military. He looked, he honestly, he looked the same age as me. He didn't look like, he didn't look like his age at all. Is Not to say that 32 is old, because we're pretty close. Is it a big deal to you, age? No, age really doesn't matter to me. What about you? Same thing, I dated a guy, I mean, not that much, that big of an age difference, but uh, my last one, he was like three years younger than me, it's not. Younger? Yeah. Wow, I'm actually genuinely saying, wow, then, three years? Yeah, like Seriously? about three years, and then the oldest guy was Wait, how old were you? I was like 25, 20. So his maturity level was still oh, no, sorry, like two years. high school. Sorry, two years. Huh? Two years. And then the oldest guy I dated was three years older than me. Or okay. maybe four, so it wasn't that. Would you ever date a guy that's like, significant, like white hair, older than like you? Like Celine Dion status? Sure. I don't think I could hack it, I don't know. Really? It's kind of... Unless he was really rich. I'm just kidding. What? I don't think I would. Really? No. Okay. Like, I've honestly, like, I've gotten but offers for dates and stuff, and I know that they can take care of me for the rest of my life, but my conscience can't do it. Yeah, but okay, so what's more, what's more, uh, what's the word for it? What's more important to you, looks or personality? Oh, I feel like I'm interviewing yeah. you. Looks or personality? Yeah. Like, would you rather date like a really attractive guy that's lacking sense of humor, or a really who has like the most awesome sense of humor? Just, like, From smart. past experiences, personality wins over. Looks is just an added bonus. I'll go with that. Yeah. But okay. Who would be your celebrity? Oh, okay. Here's the thing. Let's play a game. So we've talked <laughs> about. Um, <laughs> no, not bad. So. I think that it would be cool for everybody, every couple, to have a free pass if ever they encounter a celebrity that they are allowed to cheat on their significant others with. Okay. Like, because I mean, what's what's the chance? What are the chances of you hooking up with like Brad Pitt or anything? So I think it should be in everybody's relationship to kind of 
push that. Like a freebie? Yeah, like a freebie. So you just like, go and stalk like your favorite celebrity no, no, no. because you're if, allowed to cheat with them? If it happens or... to come if it happens to come your way, <laughs> then then you're allowed and your husband or wife isn't allowed to get mad at you. Okay. I think that would be a cool thing that couples should should have. But how would you feel if you're in a relationship and then you're But can you imagine like if my husband slept with like Angelina Jolie, I'd be like, you are badass, you slept with Angelina Jolie. <laughs> like I'd be like, can I join? <laughs> no, like okay. I, I wouldn't. I honestly probably would. I'd feel weird, but I don't think I would get mad at that. Okay. If he, because it's a, it's 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 a freebie. I mean, yeah. You guys because are first of all, I made up the rule. <laughs> I made up the rule. So second, okay. it's Angelina Jolie. Like if that was his pick, I would be like, okay, fine. Just okay. go ahead and do it. Call me when you're done. So who's one of your top? Who would be that person? For if you had to me, pick one. I think I would do either Zac Efron or or Ashton Kutcher. One of those, or even Justin Timberlake. See, that's the thing. <laughs> Ashton Kutcher and, and Zac Efron you got are, three. are hot. But Justin Timberlake isn't as hot, but his personality wins over. Okay. So I would pick any of those. I, I would ask for that freebie. Oh. Who's yours? Mine, Shakira. <laughs> I love Shakira. It's she, great. It's okay, so, so random. When I first met her, I was like, okay, so who's your ultimate? Um, who, who's your idol? Who do you look up to? And then yeah, I was crush. I was expecting for her to say a DJ because she DJs. And of all people, she says Shakira. And I'm like, I thought she was kidding. I was like, are you serious? <laughs> and until this time, her passwords. I shouldn't say this. <laughs> well, thanks everyone can now hack my account. It has Let me something to do with Shakira. <laughs> Her, I, I kid you not, because I, I had to I had to log into one of your jerk. <laughs> I had to log into one of your accounts one time and she gave me your password. And it yeah. had something to do with Shakira. I was like, oh my god, this girl's serious. She Since I was Shakira. 18, I was 16. Well I guess I'm I have I have like the biggest like Lesbo crush on Shakira, I, I really do. I'm not way with Janet Jackson, but I don't have a lesbo crush on her. I just admire her. Okay, but, okay, no, no, no. When we are watching TV, who's the one, if we're, we could be like mid-conversation, and there's this new show that came on called Beauty and the Beast, Yeah. and Kristen Kruick comes on, and she freaking, She's cute. She works on TV. Yeah, she's and she won't to listen me. to me for she's an hour until like, the commercial break. I'm like, shh, shh. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because Kristen Kruick's on TV. Because I think she's pretty. Like, I've always thought she was pretty. So I think she would, she would be my girl crush. Yeah. But if I were to have a kid <laughs> with any celebrity, I would probably... I don't know. I'd want to see what me and Zac Efron's kid would look like. Well, you know what? There's a way to figure that out. So I... Oh, here's this, <laughs> you know what I've been doing all week? <laughs> This I isn't creepy at all, you guys. <laughs> no, I found this site where you can actually morph you and a celebrity's face, and you can find out what your kid would look like, more or less. I don't know how legit it is, but more or less, you can find out what it'll look like, she or she will look like, and what they will look like when they get older. I, I, I noticed that more, more than often, they, they kind of look like shins. Yeah, because... It's a blend of... Yeah, it's you know, a blend of... So it's, it's like... What do you call it? Unisex? <laughs> Yeah, I suppose. So I found Ambiguous. these two pictures, and I think me and Zach would make a cute baby. I've already renamed myself Noel Efron, so that's me, <laughs> and that's my Zach baby, and okay. this is our baby Zach Jr. <laughs> Aren't we cute? And then when we get older, it gets kind of creepy though, because when I saw this, yeah, I, I just feel like, like, like a lesbian. I saw that and I was like, oh, maybe we shouldn't have kids together. I I'm like. A lot of keys. She looks. <laughs> no, I was like, she's. She looks like a lesbian. But can you? But I mean, if you. It's a pretty good face, blend of both. It's a good blend, but isn't we make a cute face? But you just don't know if we're a boy or a girl. But I mean, I think I, think I can work with it. And okay. I, wait, who is so, it? <laughs> all right. So my my ultimate guy. I mean, I think that it's a, a lot one. of probably like. A lot of girls on the planet would agree with me. My ultimate guy is Brad Pitt. Like, I'm... He's just... <laughs> he's Brad Pitt. Yeah. He doesn't even need you a word to describe wrong. him. Look at him. He's he wanted gorgeous. to describe a handsome man. Just he's Brad gorgeous Pitt. even when he's not gorgeous. So our baby would look kind of like... Oh, it's, <laughs> it's little Mickey Pitts. <laughs> Like, as an adult, it's questionable. Again, as an adult, like, in, in Noel Afro. As an adult, 
You look like a lesbian too. <laughs> A really gorgeous guy girl. Like, I think you'd like a really good tranny. Thank you. Yeah. Thanks. I tried that. Because one. you get the best of both, all three worlds. Like, a guy, you'd look, I mean, you could. It's the dimples. Mm. You know what? That's the dimples. They gave them, they what gave him my nose. And they gave, they gave oh. the child his dimples. And his eyes are like both of your eyes. It's creepy. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the Asian. But, okay, so now it's my turn to decide who I think you'd be well suited for. Okay, wait, why? And, uh, why? Because, alright, you're, you're into music. Wait, you don't like me with that? No, actually I don't, I'm sorry. Okay. I mean, you make a cute couple, but you don't make a cute baby. No offense. <laughs> you don't make a cute baby adult. Okay, fine. A cute, baby adult? Maybe kind of cute, but, you know. Okay, fine. Who would you pair me up with? Um, based on my personality. And based on personality? Well, okay, let's take oh out God. all... I'm just gonna say the name. Michael Jackson. Why? Okay, now I'll tell you why. We'll take out all the... <laughs> oh, seriously? You think I'd look better with Michael Jackson than Zac Efron? <laughs> yeah. Are you kidding me? He's not even real. Yeah. Like, everything about that is just... Come a on. mannequin. But, but no, I, I'm, let's take aside the creep factor, right? Let's take... <laughs> no, I don't need creep factor. Okay, so let's take aside the creepiness factor. And let's add like the great things about Michael Jackson. So he's, he's a musician, he's so talented, he's a talented dancer, he's a talented okay. singer, he's a pioneer, he's the freaking king of pop. Mm -hmm. Imagine your baby. I'm scared. Although he was Imagine. cute when he was still normal. Like, aww. See, now that's a cute that's kid a cute right there. Baby. If I do say so myself. I think that's way cuter it's than Noelle yours. Jackson that. and Janet's gonna be my sister-in-law. See? You know, you even said yourself, Janet yeah, Jackson's I love one of your idols. So I think it's fair enough. Now, as an adult, like I'm curious baby. to see what, what little see Noelle what Jackson like. would grow into. Oh, hell no. <laughs> oh, hell no. Oh. Of all things, it took his nose, which isn't even real. I think it should have got your nose, but okay, we can disagree. The only thing it got was my lips or eyebrows. <laughs> Seriously? You got your eyebrows. <laughs> God give him a fake nose. <laughs> wow. It's creepy. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, I think wait. on the good side though. You know on What's the plus the... side, he's probably gonna have equal amount of talent and, and can dance. Oh, and he's rich and too. And can do all that good stuff. You can do what? I'm not doing it again, maybe <laughs> later. Do it. Okay, fine. Since you paired me up with Michael Jackson, which I see your points, okay, fine. Our kids are just gonna look a bit scary, but with you, okay, I, you're a, okay. She's such a workaholic. Like, she, whenever there's a free a free second in her mind, she'll occupy that with like five seconds of productive thinking. So that's like a lot of work and stuff. Okay. And, and so since you're not, oh, okay, please don't oh, tell me you're gonna put me no, like no, no, Donald no. Trump or something. <laughs> no, 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 not Donald Trump. <laughs> well, since now I know this is perfect because the first guy you've ever had anything with was a black guy, right? <laughs> okay, this is perfect. I didn't know that. But, um, so I want to pair you up with another, I'm sure he's a workaholic too, and you guys might know him. He's on Barack Obama. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I think, I think you guys get along yeah, because, cute babies. It's because you guys, you know, you guys can have your antisocial me time moments because, you know, he's <laughs> only the president of the United States and you DJ. I don't know. It could work. We have so much in common. I want to see, I'm curious to see what your, <laughs> what your child will look like. Okay. Oh, it looks. It's not the cutest baby in the world, but it's pretty cute. It, yeah, it's pretty cute. Mm -hmm. I, I'm curious to see you know, you'll, <laughs> how it's gonna look like in its teenage or twenties years. Let's see. Oh no! Oh, hell no! <laughs> hell no! <laughs> you look like a lesbian too. <laughs> oh my god! Well, it has your nose. I think your nose is pretty dominant because um, you're. I've noticed that your that, that Mickey Pitts gets my nose, and Mickey so Obama, Mickey, Mickey Obama gets my nose. Mickey Obama, Mickey Obama <laughs> has your nose too, and it has <laughs> lipstick. I think <laughs> while wearing a suit. No, <laughs> okay. And I think it's a guy. Yeah, it's I, a guy. I I hope it's a guy. I wouldn't hope it's a guy because it has lipstick and eyeliner. But, but you know what it gets is that intense look of Obama. Like, I mean business. I like I, that. I like that. I, I think proof. that's intense. That's I think my that's child. ridiculous. That is actually. my child. Okay. 
Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and okay, so I did something. I did something really what? funny. Is that's not so, funny enough? No, no, no. Okay. okay. So I was just curious. I was like. I wonder what me and Mickey's love child will look like together. Yeah. And then so, cause I was seriously on a morphing frenzy. I was morphing every <laughs> face. Like I even morphed her with Chewbacca. <laughs> I morphed her with Chewbacca and Mr. Bean and, Mr. Bean and a random tiger. Your tiger self was very, was very cool. <laughs> yeah. But um, I was curious to see what our love child will look like. Me too. Here's, here's, look. oh wait, that's me. <laughs> so, wait, <laughs> oh, she's cute or he? Wait. I, he's, she's, shim. Uh. It's cute though. Okay. I think it has. I think it has my eyes. It it does. And it has your nose still. And it has uh, my hairline. <laughs> <laughs> I, are, so are what we, would we look like? Our our love fern look like as a as an as a grown. I don't think I have that one. Ah. Oh, yeah. Why? I morphed our faces together. I morphed. Now I feel cheated. Yeah, no, I morphed a whole bunch of I want to see our child grow up. Oh, yeah, you our child You just cheated me really of, a, of, a, of a lifetime. But our child. child's not bad looking, look. <laughs> it's cute, right? He looks like an Adam. Like what, oh, an Adam, we're what naming our child. We're naming our child Adam. Well, what if... It's okay. Adam. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, the last one. If, so, wait, if you guys want to want to do the same thing, go to this site called morphthing.com. <laughs> M-O-R... M-O-R-P-H... <laughs> Thing, and um, you can morph anybody. Um, you can morph another morph. There's there's um, a whole bunch of celebrities that you can morph with. You just kind of have to. It's pretty cool actually because when you upload your picture, <laughs> I study this site. When you oh upload, my God. when you upload your picture, it tells you what what points to kind of uh, draw your attention to, and it'll capture those those features. And then when you when you're morphing them with another one, it'll kind of combine them together. So it's really. But cool. okay, we're speaking of celebrities. We're we're talking about people that we want to get paired up or with or that mm -hmm. we see each other pairing up with. Which yeah. I didn't mind my result. But what celebrities do you actually like because you said celebrities and I know that site has like a lot of like oh. a database of celebrity photos. What are some celebrities that you think don't look too great together? Honestly, I was never a big fan of Mark Anthony and Jennifer Lopez. I thought that they were I mean it's cool. I'm sure their personalities like get along together and stuff, but she was just so gorgeous and he was just so not. Like, <laughs> and I, I, honestly, I don't want to be mean, but I don't think their babies are that cute. Or they, there's two of them, there's twins. I don't even know what they look like. They look like Mark Anthony, like okay. both of them. Like they look like little Mark and Anthony's. Said. And then... <laughs> <laughs> Obama kind of looks like Adam Sandler. <laughs> so our baby is Adam, not ours. I know. Oh my god. <laughs> when I saw it, I was like, it looks like somebody. <laughs> oh my god, Adam Sandler. You're, you guys are going to birth a star. That's another, the plan. Another That's comedian. The plan. Oh That's my the god. Plan. Yeah, you guys should totally get on that site. It's funny. You'll be addicted to it more than anybody, anything. Okay. With animals, it's funny. But yeah. like, yeah, no, so. Okay, ugly couples. I noticed that too. I don't know if it's just me, but if you guys notice, when two really gorgeous couples have a child, it doesn't come out too gorgeous. Like, I, I feel like know. the equation pretty plus pretty equals like U U L G Y. I I don't. Sometimes, yes, I will agree. But then at the same time, I think like okay, like uh, Brangelina, they got pretty cute kids. Oh, you're they right. really do. And they're like, they're Is not Angelina. But you know what? I'm not sure, but I think he's autistic. Or no, he has like a Down syndrome. I'm not Is sure. Is she? She. Shiloh. Shiloh. Is she the one with the Down syndrome? I don't know. No. I feel like one of the their kids. We need to do a research before we talk about No, I'm not talking shit. I'm just asking. I'm just kidding. I'm just going to say with the obvious place. Sir. <laughs> yeah. No, that's a good one. Yeah, Tom Cruise. Oh. They have a pretty one. Okay, yeah, Tom Cruise and and, uh, and Katie Holmes. Yeah, Surrey. Surrey yeah. is adorable. All right, but I mean, okay, since you're talking about like people or, or couples that don't necessarily look good together, or you mm -hmm. you know don't think look good together. Maybe there's another reason they got together, like because you know personalities kind of clicked and whatnot. Um, so, Sex was good. <laughs> I really believe 
that sex is enough to keep people together sometimes. Even the most unhealthy relationship, if they have a good life in the bedroom, I so? feel, yeah, because I've seen it with so many of my friends. Like, they have the most unhealthy relationship, but for some reason or another, they cannot let that person go, and I think that's the only thing that keeps them around. I really believe that. Interesting. I don't, I don't know. I Me either. Something. <laughs> No, but that's just my theory. I could be wrong, but I, I'm, I'm willing to bet that a, a, a good percentage of the time there is something involving that that keeps them around. But aside from that, what would it take to keep like a relationship to last? Like, let's me? say, yeah. I mean, well, I, get, I can't really ask you because you, you lasted for how many months? Six months with the guy that you weren't attracted to? <laughs> yeah. Well, my problem, that's why I always say it's not you, it's me, because I'm, I feel like I'm the one, I, I admit, I think I'm the one with the problem because I seriously get bored really easy, easily, like anybody, all my friends who know me, and my, my mom even, like, she's the same way, I think, so, yeah, I just have boredom problems. Yeah. Unless you could <laughs> always capture my attention, or, or whatever, like, you just have to always get my attention, I don't know, entertain me, make me laugh, like, yeah. Something. So, on that note, um, we did have some questions for Game of Truth, which we've been doing on Twitter as well as on Facebook, um, and we, we did get some pretty cool kind of questions yeah. that kind of go, you know, <clears throat> to yeah. some extent have some relation to what we've been talking yeah, about. Yeah, it's pretty cool, because the questions that we got this week are actually pretty good, um, yeah. mostly through Facebook. And, I ask for and juicy, I get juicy. Yeah, no, that's, it's not just juicy, it's actually like, it's relevant. And it's, yeah. Constructive questions, actually. Um, you Let's wanna... start with this one, though. Um, Which one? Warren. Warren. What up, homie? Hey, Warren. Watching from Malaysia. We miss you. Do you see you? Okay. Um, okay, so he says, how would you judge a man by his kiss and walk? Hmm. <clears throat> you asking me or you want to answer first? Uh, either one. Um, I think like kiss is you can judge a person by their kiss. Kiss you can tell like how passionate they are, how rough they might be. Like I, I think that someone that's just gonna jam their tongue down your throat may not be the most passionate yeah. in the world. You know, I don't know. There's a technique to it, or maybe they're just less experienced. Um, how would I judge them by that? I would just rate them one to ten. I don't know, <laughs> but um, by their walk. <sighs> I don't know, there's something about like a person's walk and the way that they carry themselves that, that determines like maybe the amount of confidence they have or like the level of swag. So I mean, yeah, swag. like... Swag. Swag. Swag's a trap. You actually said swag. I did. Okay, I said swag. Anyway, so yeah, I don't really know how much further I can answer that question, but I, um, how would I judge them? Mm -hmm. um, you know, A, a bad kisser, yeah, I, I, I will judge in probably not the, the most positive way, and a great kisser, I will remember. Well, for me, a great kisser is somebody who um, is not sloppy and somebody who has some kind of a rhythm. Like, it can't just be like random, blah, 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 like all over and like slobber everywhere. Like, it has to be, yeah, like you said, passionate. It has to, for me, rhythm is, I don't know if it's because I'm into music or dancing, but I like rhythm. Like, if it's just rhythm random. Music, dancing, it's yeah. a source. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, singing's next week. <laughs> oh, that's right. Okay. But like, no, so. I judge the kiss based on sloppiness and rhythm and passion and from a, okay I heard this is a rumor I don't know if it's true but I heard that when a guy has kind of like a bounce to his step like when the heel doesn't fully touch the ground that his hmm it's kind of small <laughs> I don't know although, <laughs> that, 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 although are you serious although I'm serious <laughs> so every time like what I, so my high school friend told me this so I would like look at a guy whenever he'd walk and be like oh I guess that's a small one well, okay, he's, he's okay, he doesn't have a bounce. But the guy that I dated that I wasn't attracted to, he kind of had a bounce in his step and he was, he was alright. Okay, yeah. So, I, I, so that's when my theory was kind so of... So that is how um, some ladies <laughs> judge man by his walk. Hopefully so we answered your question. <laughs> um, so here, most embarrassing thing, or this is from Lynette from Facebook. Uh, she sent a whole bunch of really good questions too, and she's uh, thank you for for enjoying the podcast and, and um, having a great time with it. Thank you. Um, yeah. Most embarrassing thing or event that occurred while on a date. <sighs> you know, I have so many embarrassing moments. It's really hard to pinpoint one. <laughs> Whether or not it was on a date, I honestly I'm gonna have to think about that for like a week before I can kind of come up with the most embarrassing. Oh wait, wait, no, I just thought of it. I went for a kiss. <laughs> And I missed. Oh, where did you end up? 
Cheek. Oh. Yeah. What? That was embarrassing. It's not like you farted or anything. No, not yet. Because that would be me. <laughs> 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 Although I don't. <laughs> you did? <laughs> I'm sure I have. But they probably just don't know, so it's embarrassing to me because I know that I did it. But, okay. but so, do you have an embarrassing moment? Anything that like comes to mind? Embarrassing me? Like, For me, probably. Okay, I don't know if it was on a date, but you know those times when you just you know you ate something really bad. You go on a date and your stomach's already kind of turning. No. And during the date, you just really have to go number two. No. So probably those. Like I've I've been on a date where I just really had to go poo really bad. <laughs> And so it was just a lot of like in and out. Like I don't think they knew that I had a problem because I just probably I they just I, thought you wanted to look in the mirror. See, I have problems. <laughs> I don't make it obvious. Yeah, but I was sweet. having problems, like sweating and pooping. Like it was, it's really bad. I think okay. that'd be my most embarrassing. Okay, aside from the fact that you were embarrassed because they yeah. didn't know. Uh, Ooh, what? Okay, Warren on Twitter. Wait, wait, which one were we gonna do? You, I don't know. Wait, you picked the last one. All right, you know what? I'm gonna go with uh, Brian on Twitter. Brian asked, aside from the lips, where is the best place you like to be kissed? You. I don't know. Me first? Yeah. Okay. Um, The neck. I, I Yeah, the, I think the neck area is nice. It's more, I don't know why, I just do. Like the neck and, yeah. I think for me, I think it's cute when I get kissed. I don't know if it's like my Lola status or whatever, but I, I think it's cute when they kiss like my hand or my forehead. Like something that's not so sexual because, I don't know, like I, I think that that's sweet. It's a genuine gesture. It's and like it's endearing. A sign of res yeah, endearing respect. And then there's other times where you just want to get wild and do the other stuff. But I think- And they're kissing your forehead. <laughs> that would be weird if they were making out with my forehead. <laughs> <laughs> but no. Um, do we have time for any more? We could. One more? Um, I think this is a good one. Okay, let's hear you read that. Uh, which one? <laughs> let's see what you're pointing at. Um, this one. Why don't you just read this and show me? Uh, okay, so have you both ever been cheated on or have cheated in a relationship? Oh, that's give, a really us, good question. Give us details you. on how you handled it or how you would handle it. Okay. Um, that's well, I'm I actually at. already know your story. What? Of being cheated on? I, how you have, it? I haven't cheated on anybody and I and that's only because I've been cheated on and I know the feeling of it and it sucks and uh, the way I handled it I was very young I was like 14 and what I should have done was I should have picked a fight with my boy my ex-boyfriend at the time but I ended up picking a fight with the girl that he cheated on me with and um, which she was also my friend so I kind of had a valid reason to to pick on her, so we kind of brawled it out in school. How old were you? I was like 14. Okay. Or 13. 13 or 14. Okay. Um, have I been cheated on? Yes, I have been cheated on. Um, and have I ever cheated? No, I've never cheated. Um, how I handled the being cheated on thing, of course, I confront the boyfriend. Um, yeah, I, I think unlike your situation, I was <clears throat> slightly older, so yeah. I. My confrontation was with my boyfriend, mm -hmm. not with the not with the other girl, because yeah, she was the outsider in the relationship. He was the one who, you know, cheated on me. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, I I, I duped it out with him. We didn't work out, and long you know, history. Um. <laughs> so yeah. Well, that's it. that's all the questions have, that we have for the day. For the rest of these, we'll answer them on Twitter. Yeah, we will get all these really questions. questions. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to ask us. We so. actually also did get a ton mm -hmm. of dares. Yes, we got some um, really cool dares. So one of, one of which was from Brian, who you, which Brian? you accepted. I did. His yeah. dare was to go to the mall and give twenty random people high fives. And we're due for a, for a Green Hills trip, so I think it'd be right. fun to do it there. And, <laughs> and it's something that you guys can see too, because I want to document that. Oh no, we're totally getting this on camera, because yeah. I have this. You really do ten, cool, and I'll do ten. Yeah, there's when my friend in um, in in Long Beach, my friend in the LA area yeah. in California, um, from he sent me a camera from Liquid Image, and it's a point of it's a point of view camera where I actually have like <laughs> a chest strap, so I look kind of like Iron Man because I have this blue thing yeah. lighting up. <laughs> And I've been bringing it to like the most random it's places, a and it looks—it's a—it's—it kind of looks like a strap-on. 
but it goes on my chest. Yeah. And and like I just put the camera right there, cool. and then I can catch people when they're looking at my boobs for one. But also I can like just kind of get the point of view from like wherever I'm going. So anyway, the plan is to go to wherever we go shopping next, whether it's Brandon Market, market or Green fives. Hills or wherever, and give people high fives. So, so we'll see Brian, what their reaction. Got is. you, bro. Really got you. And um, thanks for the dare. If you think of anything else cool, like please. Let yeah, us know. he gave a lot of dares. Yeah, uh, and that one you will see. And we also have a duet that we're gonna do. Oh, that's right. Somebody also challenged <laughs> yeah. us. Her being Japanese and me being Filipino, they, they want us to sing. They want you to sing a Tagalog song. Yes. And they want me to sing a Japanese song. So what we're gonna do this week is we're gonna learn this special song that I'm sure you guys that has both know. Tagalog yeah, and so Japanese parts. Yeah, we're kind of gonna so. do a duet. And just for the record, I cannot sing. She can sing. But I can't, so I, you might want to just wear earplugs next week. Yeah, so we're gonna test that out, and <laughs> and I think was it Colleen that gave that dare? I think I, it might have been Colleen. Yeah, it was Colleen that gave that dare. So Colleen, that's gonna be for you next week. We're gonna have a special dedication song. I'm gonna pretend like I know how to sing. And um, <laughs> but yeah, guys, keep those. Uh, we're about out of time, so we're gonna um, look for for our dates for next week for next yes. Thursday, and. And um, also want to let you guys know, we, we now have a Skype. So I've already mentioned uh, our phone number to contact us on the open line is 478-7954. But if you're not here in the, Filipino, uh, the Philippines, or this isn't a local uh, number for you, you can always reach us on Skype. So we have date night PH. Date night P as in Paul, H as in Henry. So you can contact us on Skype if you have any questions, want to talk real time. Uh, we'd love to have you and do some crazy stuff. Um, and big special thanks, big, big, big special, special thanks to our NMF family for for hosting this show and um, for allowing us to be a part of, of their podcast series. Yeah, and Beyond the Box for having yeah. us here. Uh, it's always a pleasure to kind of just walk through the store and say hi to everyone and yeah. try not to spend too much money on Apple products. <laughs> <laughs> and a very, very special thanks to Miss Case. Casey, who's who provided our outfits today. Yes, and Cam's who is here with us as well. I yeah. think I'm gonna be buying this dress before we leave here. Yeah. The first thing she said <laughs> when we sat down was, I think I'm gonna buy this dress. Do you like it? Do you yep. want to buy it? So there's uh, Miss Casey and then there's Cam's Materialis. Um, you can reach them at 624-0955 or 0917-538-6868. And Naja, Naja, Georgia. No, I've learned how to say this properly since last night. See, in my head, I said it perfect. Naj Zaragoza. In my head, I said it perfect, but when it came out, there's like a traffic jam in here <laughs> Naj Zaragoza. <laughs> Naj Zaragoza for, for allowing us to, to, for making us beautiful every week. Um, I think just, she's just she's been my the favorite time to here. you know come in and meet us early and yes. you know, just get us ready. We really appreciate um, and for, you and 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 Casey and our Ron, who was also our hairstylist. Yes, we haven't Ron. mentioned him previously, but we do want to say thank you to Ron. Um, yeah. But you you can reach Kate uh, Naj at five four four two zero one six or at zero nine one five five eight eight zero. Let me start that over. Naj, zero nine one five. 588 8015. See, let's come to the stairs. What? Okay, you can do it. 918 5815. Sorry, Rosa. At 0915 588 8045. Yeah. And of course, we also have Anna, and she can be reached at 0917 527 0323. 0323. Oh my god! I think I'm dyslexic today. Here, can you say that one over for me, please? So, Anna, go ahead and reach your 0917-527-0323. Yeah. So thank you to everybody uh, that, that's helped make this podcast happen. And to you guys for taking the time to to watch us. Yeah. So it's because and of you. And keep in mind that um, we're going to have more information on like the real, real date night. So we really hope to meet you guys. We really hope to hang out. And uh, thanks again for everything. If you have any more awesome truths, questions, dares even, mm. throw them our way because we're like open. I'm not going to open my legs, but we're open to <laughs> ideas. To ideas. We are open. <laughs> I'm not wearing red today, but anyway. Thanks yeah. for everything. <laughs> Bye, guys. Have a good night. Cheers. Bye. <laughs>